Miss USA 2017 is District of Columbia! Uh, what will that mean to you if you win? It's just going to be validation that um, I live by a quote saying nothing in this world can take the place of persistence. I've been a woman in the government. I've been a shy young lady. So things like that. And I know working hard and just like taking on something new in life is what's going to be validation for. And right here on my plate, you'll see the word she. So it's the elements, which is sulfur and helium. I had a conversation with a couple of girlfriends. I'm like, I need to put some other like science touch onto my costume. Because, you know, I studied chemistry. So they said, let's put some words together for the periodic table. And we added she. Because guess what? She can be a scientist. She can be Miss USA. She can be an oral surgeon. She can be a reporter. She can be anything she wants in life as long as she stays persistent. What is your platform going to be? STEM enrichment for children. And um, I'm hoping to stem off from that as well because I struggle with math as a child. And I just found so much joy in science and I wanted to be able to understand it. And that's why I started my program, Science Exploration for Kids. I just want children to find joy in science at a young age and not look at it like it's difficult. So moving forward, I'm hoping to continue to visit schools, do science projects. Is that the same thing for you? Not at all. So I mean, extremely shy. Um, didn't really care about my image when I was younger. Just really had no effort in a lot of things, but I secretly always wanted to try it. And I think that was like the paradigm shift for me, saying, you know what, Kyra, time waits on no one. You need to get up here and do the things that you want to do and stop being afraid. So that's my message to women and children everywhere as well. You are the one who will actually be the one to drive your destiny. Therefore, action creates opportunity. So take hold of any opportunity you want and go with it. To be asked to come back as a young alumni to represent this university was really heartwarming. And I think the image that I was trying to give to the young ladies when I'm on the float is that I may be the first Miss South Carolina State University to become Miss USA, but I'm not going to be the last. I want you to know that to take your education seriously, and beauty and brains don't have to be mutually exclusive.